Hey guys, Jen here. I am making a batch of lavender soap. Thought I'd bring you guys along. Prepping for the annual Apple Festival. We've got this batch and one more to make today. And I'll have made four batches, which was my goal for the day. bring you guys back in just a minute. All right, I'm gonna use my stick blender to move my process along. I'm going to use, normally I use our magic purple when I make my lavender soap. This time I'm going to use our new amethyst purple. So we'll see how that goes. Now with any lavender or floral, I do always wait and add the fragrance last. So this one's going to be no different. So I need two of these, one for white and one for a dark purple, or one for light purple and one for dark purple. And then the rest will be white. Let's see if I have enough in here to do this batch. Yeah. Just enough. All right, here is our amethyst color. It's absolutely beautiful. Like I said, normally I do magic purple, but I wanted to use one of the new ones. So now I'll add my fragrance so it gets blended up the same time I do my color. Now we're going to move over to the light. off the edges, the sides. And there's our darker color. Looks look how look at that floral. How pretty that is behaving. Not many do that. I think I'm going to pour all of my light color 
then my other two and then I may swirl those. little chopstick Just see what that gives us so a little tap down it's super super fluid you guys this is amazing it had been a while since I soaked with our lavender and I I thought that previously I had left it the fragrance out to the very end I know that's what I've done before I did not look up an old video to see but I know that's what I've always done to swirl. Our interstate must be backed up. We've got a lot of traffic coming down our little highway here that generally does not have a lot of traffic. bring you back for the cutting. Hi guys, Jen here. I'm gonna cut the lavender soap. You guys see the top? It looks really pretty. Ooh, very nice. This is always one of my favorite. I don't like the scent of lavender that much but it's always one of my favorite soaps to make because I love the design on this one I think last time I did just a drop swirl but where I did the peppermint soap yesterday and I did it as a drop swirl I swirled the inside of this one I think I went deep enough when I swirled, but that's okay. Well, that one turned out pretty good. Did you put the lids on them, Austin? Thank you. guys last cut 
that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.